Hi everybody, Joe here from Shutterspeak Photography. Very nice to see your smiling faces again here on YouTube. So today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about a uh, bug in Luminar AI that I've discovered. Uh, it's a very easily reproducible bug and there's a very easy workaround should you be encountering this bug that I'm going to show you. Also, um, I'd like to talk a little bit about Luminar AI and uh, Skylum and their support issues it seems to be at this time. Skylum is absolutely overwhelmed with support tickets and I'll show you what's happened with my support ticket uh, thus far. And um, just so you know, I have purchased this software. Um, it's purchased with my own money. It's not given to me by Skylum. I am a Skylum affiliate and I do make money off of sales of Luminar and other Skylum products. However, all of these products I do buy with my own money and if I open a support ticket, my support ticket is treated the same as any other support ticket, just uh, the same as it would uh, your ticket or anybody else's. So my experience should not be unique. Uh, it's probably something that a lot of other people are going through as well. So let's get started. But before we do, I'd like to say thank you for watching. And if anything in this video helps you out, please do me a favor, help me out by hitting that subscribe button and ring the bell so you get notified of future updates and uh, future videos on this channel. And uh, just want to say Happy New Year and I appreciate you watching. So let's get started. All right, so I'm in Luminar AI. Uh, just so you know, I am running my screen at 4K resolution and this bug only seems to affect people who are using the screen resolution of 4K. Okay, so just so we know, take a look at Luminar and I am using Luminar 1.0. It's Windows 10. The build number is 7348 and it's the newest version available. And again, this seems to be a Windows 10 bug. I don't have a Mac that runs at 4K, so I can't test this at 4K. However, if you are a Mac user and you have 4K system out there, please do me a favor and see if you can duplicate this bug and let me know in the comments whether or not this bug affects you at 4K resolution. So, anyway, I have a, a picture up on my screen, but it doesn't matter what picture uh, is up. Okay, if we go over to the Pro tab, you're going to see this section here, Color Harmony. If I open up Color Harmony, you're going to see these sliders, Brilliance and Warmth. Okay, and everything looks normal up to this point. And, you know, we can use these sliders and, you know, they do whatever it is that they do, right? And you're going to see we have three options down here say show when we mouse over them color contrast split color warmth and color balance now let me show you what happens at 4k when i click on these see i click on color contrast button changes from show to hide but you see there are no sliders nothing happens okay and obviously that's not the way it should be maybe you might think well maybe they haven't finished building out these tools and initially maybe that's that's probably what i thought as well but that turns out not to be the case so Let's go ahead, I'm gonna change my screen resolution and then we're gonna relaunch Luminar AI. And let's see what happens. Okay, so we're back in Luminar AI. I've just stepped down the resolution uh, by one setting. So instead of being at 4K, right, we are now at Oops, uh, 2560 by 1600. Uh, it really doesn't matter. I could have chosen anything below 4K resolution and it would have fixed the, the issue. So if we go over to Pro tab now, we go to Color Harmony, everything looks the same as before, but if we now click on Color Contrast, we see now sliders now appear. Split Warmth, okay. Colors now appear, uh, sliders now appear, not colors, I'm sorry, the sliders now appear. And Color Balance, we see now all the sliders now appear, right? So this is a, a very easily fixed and very easily uh, reproducible error that occurs within Windows 10 at only 4K resolution. So just so you know, I did open up a support ticket because like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I am a, a paid user of this product. I've purchased this with my own money. Um, I don't expect any special treatment from Skylum. Um, so I'm just going to give you a timeline of that ticket to date. And again, very easily reproduced error here. 
happens every time and can be fixed the same way every time. So let's just take a look at that uh, support ticket and how that's gone thus far. Okay, so here's an overview of how the support ticket has gone thus far. So you'll see here I opened a support ticket on December 20th. Just so you know, it's currently January 2nd, 2021. This ticket was opened December 20th, uh, 2020. So this is just an automated response letting me know that they had received my support ticket and they would get back to me as soon as they possibly could. Okay, so thus far, you know, everything seems to be going okay. Uh, however, on December 24th, I received the following email. Updates and apologies on your support inquiry. If you're receiving this email, you're one of over 10,000 people who have written into Skylum in the past week. While our normal standard of service is 24 hours or less, the incredible response to our new software has been overwhelming, to say the least. Apparently, so has the support tickets. And uh, they're telling us they have a dozen people working nearly around the clock, uh, but it's going to take some time. Okay, so we'll give it some time, right? So on December 29th, nine days after opening that ticket, I get a brief message that just says, hey, thanks for reaching out. Could you send a screenshot? Looking forward to hearing from you now. I've already told them that the sliders don't appear, but for some reason they want to slide a screenshot of the sliders not appearing. So December 29th, later that day, I send them the screenshot of no sliders. Um, at that point, I get back a message from them that seems to be the same message that I got in the beginning. And being that there doesn't seem to be any ticketing system involved here, I'm wondering, have I now gone back to the bottom of the queue because I responded to this email and it's now unresolved and I'm now back at the bottom. Again, there's no ticketing number. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any system in place for them to track this. So here it is now, January 2nd. Keep in mind, this was open December 20th. Okay, so it's 11, 12, 13 days later, almost two weeks later, and I really haven't progressed anywhere beyond where I started. And, you know, for what it's worth, uh, look, I understand if they have 10,000 tickets and they're working 24-7, uh, I get it. However, Skylum, just going to say, you need to do better. So anyway, that's my issue thus far. Uh, that's how it's going. Um, I'm going to let you know what Skylum has to say about this. I have reached out to their support team to see if I can get comments from them, and I'm going to let you know what those comments are. All right, so, all right, that's it for, uh, for now. I'm going to let you know how this uh, ticket progresses and when it does get resolved. I'll leave it in the comments down below. But hey, so thanks for watching. If you're experiencing this bug, I hope at least, if nothing else, this video has helped you to see how you can end around it and resolve it and get your Luminar AI product working as you expect, expected. I know there's a lot of people out there having a lot of other issues, and I know that there's a lot of people out there that are currently enjoying this product and using it without issues. So um, again, I'll keep you updated on how this goes. Thanks for watching. Happy New Year, and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.